he said that African people were intelligent from the beginning. Martha, I do not know your Cameroonian language, but I bet that the, alpha, the, the, the numerals 1 to 10, you have what you call them in your language. Because in my language, I have, there's a way we call 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10. We know how to call multiplication, division, subtraction. I don't need to speak English in my country when I'm speaking mathematics. Look at China. China is a superpower now. Why? They have chemistry in Chinese. They have physics in Chinese. They have geographies in Chinese. But here we are in Africa, studying the Tennessee Valley Authority. We are studying the, Colum the, 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 the mountains in the USA. We are studying the states and the government of other countries. Yet we have our own mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. That is what my brother was trying to say. We have mathematics in, in, in Africa. We have chemistry in Africa. We had physics in Africa. How all this thing was washed out of the history, this is what, this is their biggest success. They succeeded in washing away all our greatest achievements. But thank God that you can go back to the pyramids in Egypt and you'll see these things there. The Pharaoh has never been white. Do you understand? What the, what's the point that I'm trying to make? I'm trying to say that we need to get, stop this issue of the diaspora. We are coming to look for money. We are in other people's countries. No, my dear, this is our planet. We belong anywhere. Anywhere you want to go, you have the right to go. Anything you want to do, you have the right to do it. Our brother yeah. said another point. He said that go wherever you want to go, do your best and bring the resources back to Africa. That's I cool. agree. Martha, last time I told you, we need to come to these countries and conquer, get mm -hmm. the gold, get the money, go back to Africa and make a difference because we know what to do. It does not require 20 people to make a change. No, it requires only one determined man to make a change. Because if you study what these white people do, everything they did, they only did it through one man. It was always one man's name. You look at the brands that we wear, it is one man's name. Mm. You're putting on a Max and Spencer, it is a man's name. You're driving a Mercedes Benz, it is a man's name. You're drinking Coca-Cola, it is a man's name. It has always been a one man solution kind of life. It does not require 20 people. So I, I am not in the group of people that are blaming the government. I do not blame the government for anything. I, I blame myself because yeah. it is me to change. Alika Dangote has built the biggest refinery a project in the world, single-handedly. What's the mm -hmm. difference between Brother, Alika Dangote actually, and, yeah. and, 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 and Donald Trump? What is the difference? Supposing we have 20 yeah. or 40 Dangotes, I'm not talking about his money, I'm talking about his mindset, a Dangote mindset, then we shall take over the world. Brothers and sisters, let us go and conquer and do our best to change this narrative. Forget this issue of diaspora. The first diaspora was a white man. Me, my problem is religion and education. For, me to for you to tell me that I should bring my tithes and give it to you, the pastor who you call a man of God, that you should go and buy yourself a private jet. The poor fools, I call them poor fools, excuse my language, who spend their whole lives in church claiming to worship a God, which God they move with in their hearts every day. They sleep with God every day in their beds. They walk with him every day. But they believe they have to go to a certain cathedral or a certain location to worship this God and give him their little money. You, you, you're a housemaid. You're earning 800 dirham. You're supposed to take 80 dirham to this so-called man of God to represent you by offering your tithe. God does not eat money, my dear. God is not a prostitute to chop your money. You don't take God to a yacht and a beach party and take him out and therefore he's going to eat your, your, your tithe. God is the spirit is within. Now this man is buying expensive cars, buying private jets, living in a mansion while your shoe is getting worn out. You're struggling with your degree because a man of God said he has to dream for you. He has to prophesy. This nonsense of going to churches for prophecies from a mere man instead of waking up and going and struggling and fighting and conquering the world is the biggest problem of Africa. That any time a man stands up to make a difference, they'll start telling you, ah, God doesn't like this. Now you're proud. These things you're doing are satanic. People are busy innovating things. Mm -hmm. And you're busy calling it satanic, isn't it? You're busy telling people now there's a triple six, you know, uh, Satan is coming. People are busy making inventions. Elon Musk grew up in South Africa. All yeah. his brains and all his achievements started way back in South Africa. 
come on how many other examples do you want us to bring for us fellow africans